You never know what you will find shaping a world that's in your mind. See for yourself and Yeah, that works out pretty good. That'll have to do. Okay. Oops, what am I doing? Why did it stop? Shouldn't have stopped. Now it's going backwards. But will this be a problem? No, as a matter of fact, it looks like that works out a bit better. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, stop. Stop. Go the other way. No, go back the other way. Go, 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 go. Okay, now switch. Switch. Alright, this looks good. So this system right here will work. Now I'm curious, if I switch this out with another powered rail, so now we have a double powered rail system, will it work even better? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Okay, so that works out alright. Let's try something else. So let, I'm pretty sure these things can go on an incline because I've used them on multiplayer. I'm pretty sure they can go on an incline. So let's just put one here, one here. And yeah, so let's just find out if this will make it any better or if this will just ruin the whole thing. So powered and go. Oh, that works out nicely. Check that out. No delay whatsoever, just up, down, touch the ground. Winnie the Pooh quoting there, I know. Winnie the Pooh. You can't go wrong with Winnie the Pooh. Hmm. Let's, uh... Let's try some redstone. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting a lot of learning done here. <laughs> Horrible grammar. So let's clean this mess up. Um... Yeah, let's clean this mess up. I wonder if a sword would be any better. Yeah, it's a little bit better, but I don't want to waste my sword. So instead, I'm just going to waste my bow. You know, I think bows should wear out. And I know that's a horrible idea. You're probably thinking, oh, that's silly. I mean, no, we don't want things to wear out. But think about it. There's so much string. What are you going to use it all for? I mean, well... Yeah, what are you going to use it for? What are you going to use all that string? Are you just going to make a wool? What to do, do? You've made 25 blocks of wool. Ready to make 25 million more? Because you're going to be playing this game forever. Yeah, I think they should just uh, wear out eventually. Alright, so this is a cool idea. Not a cool idea. It's a cool system. So, okay, so these detector rails. What can I use detector rails for? I know I can use them to power other parts of track, and that's a kind of, I guess that's a neat idea. Oh, I know! I used this once in, um, in multiplayer on the Minecraft server, uh, but unfortunately it was, um, reset, so all that work was lost. So, here's what I'm building. Oh, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. This right here is a memory cell. Mem cell? This is a memory cell. If I attach power to this one right here, Notice that they've switched. This one's on, this one's off. And I put power here. This one's on, this one's off. And it's going to stay like that until the other side gets power. So it's a memory cell. Why am I saying cell? It's a memory cell, and it holds that that way. And I used this system when I wanted to have a push button operation. Um, I would simply have a push button. Let's see if this will work here. I hope it does. Uh, a button. Yeah, see, there we go. So it switches the polarity. Um, and what that would do, it would it would activate the minecart track to send the cart flying off. But I didn't have a way to turn it off. And now I actually have a way. So let's throw down some redstone. Just like this. And, um... Yeah, let's do some of... No, bad. Okay, so apparently these things can't turn. I guess that's good to know. It's also kind of a disappointment. <laughs> uh, let's put some power here. That's not going to work. Let's just use tw two torches. It's not going to be permanent. 
So let's say that this will turn the track uh, like this. Let's say we have another one of these infinite loops. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Just like we had before. I'm going to need to put a couple of these ones in here. Oh boy, this will be confusing. Hang on. Uh, does that work? Yes, that works. And does this work? Yeah, that works. Okay, so here we have this uh, system of... Let's put a block here so it doesn't go flying away. Actually, let's do it. Let's make this thing go fly away. Mm, there we go. Put one there, put one there. And these should all be powered... If I'm lucky. Yep, I'm lucky. Alright, let's give that a shot and see what happens. Um, I just want to see if it'll go flying and then I'll have to go catch it. Sun's going down, let's hurry up the test. Um, I throw down a minecart here. Actually, hang on. Let's, um, let's reverse the power really quick. Okay, so we have the cell locked such that this... Okay, so this one's going to be on an infinite loop uh, that I forgot to power the other side. Like a dork. Hang on. You know what? Yeah, let's keep doing this. Stop. Stop. Good. Stay. Oh, boy. All right. Just like this. Going on here. And um, if I press this button, it should send it flying. But as soon as the track, as the cart hits that detector rail, it's going to turn off the memory cell. So, let, cell. so let's check it out. Hey, I'm right. It worked, and it didn't go flying. Well, that looks like that's going to be about it for these tests. I figured out all the basics of um, detector rails and powered rails and all that good stuff. So let's get inside before we get mauled to death. And the next episode, we are going to do something really cool with these new systems. And let's see if my dog will wake up. Yay! I don't have to kill you anymore. Die. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.